Welcome to the Quester update. I know it's been a long time, been a couple of weeks. I haven't actually even worked on this in the last couple of weeks. Uh, about two weekends ago, I made a video, which you can see on my YouTube channel. And last week, I just went flying, and I just haven't felt like doing anything after work during the week. So, no progress. But I'll show you what I have done. Um, I also lost use of the software that I was using to convert this video to a, a smaller format so that I could upload to YouTube. But now I'm uploading it directly through the direct upload thing. We'll see how that works. But basically I'm working on a hatch. So I've got this piece in here that I've started to make that's got a couple of uh, toothpicks in there. I just cut them and drilled holes in this piece here and glued them in. And I've got a piece of balsa wood here and a piece of plywood on top and those pins just mate in with a couple of holes that I drilled into this former here so what that'll do is allow me to seal this compartment up completely so when I put the landing gear in there will just be a couple of notches on either side where the landing gear comes out and there'll be a little lip up here in the front where I can just pull this up and there's a, there'll be a couple of um, hold down snaps on here that will hook down onto a couple of pins, probably metal pins in the side, so that it will just um, snap down on there and it will be in there real good. And then I can just pull on that lip to pull it up and then pull it straight out. And then I can get to the spring load mechanism in here to release the landing gear. And I didn't mention in a previous update that the two little screws that I have up in here to stop the spring loader the spring release from coming out can be removed to remove the whole mechanism which I've done because I'm working on this and I didn't want anything to get in the way but uh, it's all kind of coming together very 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 slowly um, but there's also going to be a couple pieces that go like on on here and a, a, a permanent piece that'll just go on to the, the face there and I don't know I'm a little worried about creating too much area too many corners where dirt and oil can collect so I'm trying to think through how do I do this and seal it up and make sure there's not too much drag and just a lot of things to think about and I just haven't really had the brain power left over at the end of any day to do that and the weekends I spend just de-stressing from work so nothing's getting done that's kind of bumming me out, but there's my accountability for what I have done in the interim. So hopefully, if I can encourage myself to keep going, I'll keep going. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to figure out what to do about lighting, because there's supposed to be three LEDs in the front of this thing, and I'm trying to figure out where to put them. I want to light up the tank, so I don't know if I need one or two to do that. And then whatever LEDs that I don't use to light up the tank, I want to have visible from underneath when the plane is flying, and I don't know where to put that. And why did my video stop? I don't know if this thing's still recording. But anyway, that's it for the update.